nine o'clock. Okay. And I'm going to call the meeting of the Public Works okay. Committee to order. So I don't get it. Uh, can we have a roll call? Kaplan here. Desart here. Hart here. Ozad here. Tornatory Day here. Okay, do we have any public comment? All right. Uh, next, I'm going to move for approval of the regular meeting minutes, Tuesday, April 5th, 2022. Can I have a second? Um, I'm sorry, second. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, thank you. Uh, next, move for approval of payment of claims, public works and facilities management. Second. Okay. Any comments, questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Next, we have a joint purchasing agreement. I move for approval of PWP 0142-22, recommendation for the approval of the contract to Coons County for Country Ford of Antioch for the purchase of one 2022 Ford Explorer four-door for public works for a total contract amount not to exceed $38,286, pricing, pricing and compliance with Government Joint Purchasing Act. Second. Okay. Any comments or questions? I just wondered, is this in the budget? Was this in the 2021? Yeah, yeah. Budget? This is this is replacing a 2008 with 180,000 miles on it. Okay. So it was planned accordingly. Great. Thank okay. you. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Uh, next, I move for approval of 2022-43. Recommendation for the approval of a contract to Hobart Service to provide repair services and parts for kitchen, ice, and refrigeration equipment as needed for county facilities for facilities management for the period April 20th, 2022 through April 19th, 2023, for a total contract amount not to exceed $25,000. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Uh, next, I move for approval of PWP 014322, recommendation for the approval of a contract to Roll Chemical Corporation to furnish and deliver sodium hypochlorite for the Woodridge Green Valley and Noblewood Wastewater Facilities for Public Works for the period April 26, 2022 through October 31st, 2022 for a contract total amount not to exceed $135,000 per low bid. Okay, have a second. Any comments or questions? I will tell you this is one of our three low bidders at exactly the same, same price. So it was an interesting uh, process. So uh, out of a hat, how, how was the final decision made? Um, procurement actually rolled dice. Okay. To, they, assigned, <laughs> they assigned numbers and rolled dice to procurement for it. Okay, that sounds, sounds very fair. So all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you. Now I move for approval of FMP 014422. <laughs> Excuse me. Recommendation for the approval of a contract to see armrest plumbing and heating to provide time and material plumbing services as needed for county facilities for the period May 15th, 2022 through May 14th, 2023 for facilities management for a contract total amount not to exceed $50,000 per renewal option under bid award, third and final option to renew. Second. Second. Any comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. Okay. Any old business? We do have uh, one item yes. to go over, and I will turn over to Tim here shortly, but uh, what uh, we're going to be moving forward with is updating our DUCOM agreement. If you remember, um, for those on the board back in 2018 when we built DUCOM, uh, we entered an agreement with DUCOM and ETSB and the county to do a joint project out there. Uh, so we have an agreement in place that was put in place before the construction was done. We've had, we've had about four years. It's, the relationship has been great, but now our plan is to update the agreement and to memorialize everything we've kind of learned and gotten lined out. Um, like I said, the original agreement was put in place before construction started. So we want to put this in place so we have something kind of the Bible moving forward of this agreement for because it's going to be in place for the next 20 years. So we wanted to update it and refresh it. Tim? Did you want to give a little bit of update the changes that you sure, have in just, there? Just some quick history on the agreement. Um, on Valentine's Day in 2017, it was a financial resolution that approved it. It's a three-party agreement. It's between DuPage County, DuCom, and ETSB. Um, as Nick stated, it was at the start of construction. It was the way we, we teed this up was when the agreement was authorized, one-third of the design was done. At, at the completion of one third of the design, a, a guaranteed maximum price was developed. We then went back to the county board to approve the construction of the project. Uh, the project was completed in July of 18. Uh, Duke went live in August of 2020. Total construction was $17.1 million. Ducom paid $3.4 million cash on hand. ETSB contributed $4 million. 
The county paid $2.1 million. A majority of that was for the trail system that's behind um, Canic. In addition to that, we did a lot of restoration work and then we did some additional HVAC work inside the building outside of the Ducom space. In addition to that, the county took out a loan for $7.5 million roughly. Uh, that is being paid back by Ducom under the terms of the lease. Uh, there's a $2.3 million balloon payment that's due at the end of the term of the, of the, uh, the loan. Um, there are two PSAPs within DuPage County. You need to have a minimum of two because one always backs up the other in the event there's a problem issue. There's DuCom and then there's ACDC, which is Allidated, um, Addison Consolidated Dispatch. Um, within the project, we repurposed about 17,000 square feet of the original youth home. And then about 11,000 square feet of the new facility was constructed. That is where the comm center is. And that can withstand, it was designed to withstand an F4 tornado, which is what you obviously want to the facility. Um, the main change that we're making in the agreement is just to, actually, it's to incorporate the actual construction costs, the actual loan agreement, the actual uh, balloon payments. And then we're removing some things like the original agreement called for if there are cost overruns for the construction, how that's adopted. So we're just taking out the old stuff and just kind of refreshing as Nick said. Um, and then finally, our goal will be to present this to you either the May 10th or the May 24th Finance Committee for your consideration. So right now, all of the attorneys and the, the parties to the agreement are, are working out the final wording of it. Once we have it lined out, we'll bring it through all the various different uh, boards, but uh, there's no additional obligations for the county. It's simply codifying what we're already doing, what we've learned over the past four years. And so you'll see it next month or so. Tim, could you talk a little bit more about the balloon payments? And sure. That, money? that is, in, in working with the executive director of DuCom, they already have that incorporated within their finances. Okay. Um, what we, the way we structured the agreement was for the first 10, for the first 10 years, DuCom is not making owning and operating payments to the county. Okay. They're paying off their loan. And then when that's paid off, then that goes away and then they start making their payments to the county. So DuCon had a, a ceiling that they did not want to exceed within their annual expenses. So that's how we set it up. So with the exception of the balloon payment, DuCon will be paying the same amount all the time, all the way through. And as I said, they've already accounted for their finances. Um, one of the things as we pursue this is, as I said, it's mandatory, you must have two comp centers. So there's no risk that two comps gonna go away, that they're gonna go under because they back up each other. Okay. The, the loan that was taken, although it was a flow through for the county, they are responsible for the loan payments. Ultimately, we're the backstop. We make loan payments, but they reimburse us. And that's been the way for the past four years. What's the term of the loan? It's a 10 or 11 year loan. And, and then with a balloon payment at the end. 2.65 was the interest rate. And what, what's the term of the agreement? 25 years. And keep in mind, they took, uh, they spent 17 million on updating one of our buildings. And so we we did benefit greatly by that. Um, and, and we took an old building that was not in use anymore and they spent 17 million. Thank you. Um, two, two questions, one for you, Tim. It sounded like you were, uh, you said that construction was completed in 2018 and then it went live in 2020. It went live in 2018. Pardon me? That was a mistake. August of 2018, it went live. Oh, it sounded okay. like you said 2020. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. that was just a mistake. Yeah, I probably wrote it wrong. And my second question is for you, Nick. Um, I remember that we had an opportunity to go visit Ducom, and then the pandemic hit. Could you make that opportunity available? I'd love to. Again, it, before it's a, yes, the May 10th meeting? It's one of our most technologically, it is our most technologically advanced building on our entire campus, so I'd love to be able to make that Thank you. I appreciate if you could help that. make that available, we'll mm -hmm. talk to Brian. And I know and OMA can only be like three of us at a time or four or whatever. Yeah. You can figure that out. We, I'd we'll, love the opportunity to see we'll, it. Well, definitely. Yes. It, it's that a great, great facility. I mean, it's a 24-7. I mean, they, they're they 24-7. It's manned. I mean, that's our, there's a lot of things we learned. Like, we have to make sure when we have snow here on campus, that's our first area that we have to plow because the shift change that, that happens there, they have to get in and out. And so that's there's a lot we learned and it's a great facility. Happy I to show appreciate that. I, I, I was sorry to miss the opportunity and then we were in lockdown. So great. Thank you. Okay. Anything else about this issue? We're good. Okay. Any new business? Thank you. Any new business?
Okay, hearing no new business, I move to adjourn. Okay, thank you, everybody.